Hey, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages like Kevin Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love. And um, uh, I'm going to share from the Art of Love Tarot again <laughs> because uh, it's all about love. And I'm also going to share how um, I did a when I connect to when I do Reiki for people, I connect to people's energy and um and i see things so it just sort of comes up like a little movie and i also hear a song and um when i see and so i send you a write-up of what i see and what i hear and a mantra that comes through and um and it, I never know what it's going to be. It can be anything. It's usually quite quite abstract. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> what I love is how, you know, it sort of always relates. So I'm just going to... One of the songs that came through recently um, was a beautiful song that I absolutely love that was um, Fast Car by um, Tracy Chapman. <clears throat> And um, and the fa and what I just as I was just coming to do this message, you know, <clears throat> just things as I'm sat here, just things start coming through. And um, the fact the car is our light body, <clears throat> and um, the light body is, you know, the you know the Merkaba, which is the the six pointed star, and you can work your light body to. Uh, there are lots of meditations for that as well on YouTube. But basically, it's all about, you know, igniting with intent to your light body to raise, to rise up. And basically, I was just, you know, it just came to me that, you know, the fast car is that essentially that's what we're doing. We're speeding up our vibration. We're making it more powerful. We're making it more light filled. And, um, and when I heard back from the lady, it was so perfect as well is that you know all of the it always has such a strong connection and um her twin used to pick her up <laughs> from college in a car <laughs> so um it was a beautiful way of just you know a nod from the twin energy to say you know in that own unique that message for them was very unique but it was brought through through you know basically <clears throat> spirit never you know, it's always just so like intricate, right? It's always like on so many levels, the messages come. And uh, so I just thought that was so lovely. And then just thinking about, you know, that we are all kind of increasing our light and increasing our vibration. And the more knowledge that we have, the more inner wisdom we kind of activate. Um, the more that that kind of like connects us. So again, a beautiful, beautiful thing that we are all kind of moving faster, you know, essentially, we'll be able to move faster in our light move, um, and kind of um, manifest faster, create our reality faster, all of these things. Um, is what essentially what that message was as we move forwards into the light then um, everything that I mean I'm sure that I'm sure that all, lots of you share with me this feeling that sometimes it feels like you're literally in this kind of like game I don't know it feels very odd sometimes it will be like a real like a a very strong feeling of switching between dimensions like reality or what is reality and you know this sort of yeah it's getting um quite powerful and and that feeling of different people's energies as well is coming you know you can kind of feel when someone is on the same sort of wavelength let's say so um, I'm going to share a card, like I say, pull an energy for today from the Art of Love Tarot. And uh, we'll see what they want to say. So let's have a look. So the message for today is, it's the Nine of Hearts. Look at that stability. And look, within that, the tree has the inner wisdom 
and it also has the star and all of the hearts here. So I'm going to share what the write-up is from uh, the book. So all about basically, like I say, connecting in this kind of like activating our inner wisdom, the art of love, you know, the hearts here, all connecting us basically, creating our roots around the world. So we have, um, you have created a strong, loving foundation. From this stability, you can create greater manifestations of love. An enchanted tree grows deep in the forest of love. Its root reaches deep into the universal soul of which we are all a part, continually drawing unconditional love upwards through the trunk into the branches. The branches are streams of creative energy, snaking and weaving their way into physical life with the sweet fruit of red hearts. The inner eye sees into the heart of love and the inner star illuminates wisdom and truth. Blue and green symbolize the earth and the reverence this tree has for Mother Earth. You are, you, you are as beautiful and as strong as this tree. The Nine of Hearts bears good news. Something you have wished for is on its way. It may not come in the way you expected it to, but it will be the essence of your wish and may be even better than you, could, than you imagined. This card prompts you to feel anchored and ready for the next shift. Celebrate life and this magical journey that you are creating. Be open to the possibility that joy and happiness have always existed in your life. It has just been hidden under the negative experiences you focused on. When you begin to focus on joy and love, your relationships will deepen and feel more authentic. Sharing the peace you have found will make it grow. So, and that's the uh, nine of cups in the traditional tarot, which is all about sort of victory and dreams coming true, material attainment and, you know, being satisfied. And like I say, that thing, just like I was saying at the beginning of the message, it was all about, you know, realizing that as we increase with our light, we are basically like the, like the song, the fast car, we're moving faster and being able to um, create our experience faster, all of those things. Being able to move through the energies faster as well. So um, what that's page 74. I have to say what's been really lovely is since I've been talking about doing QHHT, um, I've got sessions um, booked in for people sort of locally, um, but also people from like, all over the world have contacted to say oh actually I'm coming to England and I'd really like to do a session with you and that's like the power of this channel you know that's the power of the internet isn't it and it's just so amazing like people saying oh I felt a connection with you through your videos for such a long time it'd be really nice to do a session with you and I'm just like oh that's so lovely so it's going to be a really nice way of meeting people through yeah so it's just been quite a beautiful thing you know, that's the miracles of when we follow our guidance, then magic can happen. So 74, this is from my divine love letter books that are all channelings between people's twins and their higher selves. So that you are my bright shining star, that you are everything that I look for in a woman, everything that I always dreamt of, but never thought that I'd be that guy. You know, the one that gets to live the life of the girl of his dreams. <laughs> I mean, that sort of thing only happens to movie stars and in films, right? Well, that's what I thought until I met you. You changed the rule book, rewrote the story, changed the beginning, the middle and the end. Our last chapter is yet to come. We are going to write our last chapter together. We will get to rewrite the relationship rule book and be a shining light together for years to come. Believe in the power of twin flame love because it really does create miracles. Well, there you go. There you go. Just like that. Oh, and I opened this on page. I opened it on 74. So I want you to know that I wish with all my heart that I had the courage to not only pick up the phone and call you, but to actually go through with talking to you too and wishing you, oh, I wonder if it's someone's birthday and wishing you a happy birthday like you have remembered mine. Every year, yours is the one that I was most happy to see and made me sad too. Sad that I'm not with you. 
sad that I haven't got it in me to be a bigger man, to face up to my fears and to just do it. Believe me when I say I will. We will spend many happy birthdays together. I promise. Okay, the other song. I love that. The other song is um, when it says I promise at the end. That's another amazing song by Tracy Chapman is Promise. And that, I'm just thinking of all these things. But basically, um, a while ago, I read out a play that was written by another Twin Flame um, who was... Um, who had written about a, a play about his um, twin experience. And I, I read out some of the play um, over a couple of videos. And um, just as I was talking about, you know, just as the energy for today is all about using that creative energy and, you know, tr just trusting that it will be, find a place in the world when it's the right time to pick it up, you know, that sort of thing. And... Um, and the song that was very was the song that came through in that and that was very poignant for them was promise which was also something that which is also a song that i've shared on this channel so i mean just like layer like i say layer upon layer upon layer of like messages basically so um this is book three Hello, my love. I've been waiting to tell you how much I adore you. I've missed you so much. It feels like I haven't been able to get through to you recently. There's been too much interference with listening to your heart. Don't let this practical stuff <laughs> get in the way. It's so easy to get lost in it all. But don't lose the touch of my hand on your heart. In those moments when you feel love, feel my hand taking yours. Feel my fingers intertwining in yours and both of our hands next to your heart. Feel me there in the heart where we live. Okay, so I'm just going to finish by doing um, one more card. Um, and that thing about intertwining fingers, intertwining hands, just remembering that we're always, uh, our energies are always uh, together. So um, it's all about balancing the seesaw because the energies go up and, down and up and down and, you know, you know, that's what it, that's just what it is. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, what does the twin want to say? Okay, <laughs> the twin wants to say, he's the adventurer right by your side, the night of stars. And we had this not that long ago. So we have the night of, oh, I love it, the adventurer. And look, it's the star. Um, so it is this. Life is an adventure. With every journey, you become spiritually fitter. Each moment holds an opportunity to experience life in its fullness. This angel is an adventurer, a pioneer and a champion. He wears his adventures as medals of experience, as symbolized by the stars, the spirals, the hearts and the leaves. He is heroic and ready to defend, to defend all those who feel limited by their situation. He then assists in illuminating their inner power. His confidence shines as brightly as the yellow background, sending tendrils of inspired action to all that are ready. His blue hair symbolizes a connection with his higher mind. His eyes look to the next adventure and his face tells us he is already on his way. The night of stars dares you to take on a new adventure. Your soul is craving love, fun and the excitement of exploration. Allow this supernova of energy to invoke, inspire and incite dreams or a transformation. Initiate your free will by opening to your heart. You may be inspired to take a holiday, change your residence or workplace or to transform your inner or outer self. Whatever it may be, it will have you feeling more alive and centered. When you allow yourself to go with the natural flow, your dreams and desires will begin to manifest. Wow, so strong energy. Both, the, both of it today is just saying about, you know, basically follow that, you know, follow what your creative surges are telling you to do, basically. Um, and, you know, 
it's no this, this is funny because I'm going on a little adventure today. I'm going down to Brighton, which is um, by the sea. Um, and uh, to actually go and see an, a friend of mine who is also in a twin relationship, who is one of the ones who's actually physically with her twin. <laughs> but it took it took a while because she had to. So, yeah. So I can vouch that it does actually happen. People do actually live physically with their twins. It can happen. Um, and I firmly believe it. it uh, is your destiny. So we just need to keep on going. So let's finish by I cut that DM. What's the message for today? What do we need to know? And it is. <laughs> Uh, right. Nothing really matters except what you do now in this instant of time. So nothing really matters except what you do now in this instant of time. And just remember that just be yourself because you have got what it takes. All right, there we go. That's the message for today. If you would like to have a healing, like I was talking about at the beginning, um, uh, where, where I connect your energies, there or a channeling or a, uh, or, or a card reading, then I'd be very happy to do um, any of them uh, because it's an amazing way of getting messages and just seeing, you know, get, just getting messages from what your higher self and what your twin's higher self want to tell you, uh, want you to know to help you, basically, because it's all about getting a little bit of help every now and then. That's what we all need. So um, there we go. That's the message for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, all the details will be in the link below the video. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope wherever you are, you have a good day and I hope you stay well, stay bright and stay switched on to the light. See you. Bye.